there is something wrong with your Android device, you're getting all sorts of errors, crashes and you have no idea what's wrong with your device and you don't want to lose your data by factory resetting your device, then you'll need to enter into the safe mode to fix the issues. In today's video, I'll show you how to boot into Android safe mode and fix issues and errors that you're having with your device. Now first of all, what is safe mode? Now folks, safe mode is basically an alternate state of your Android OS in which third-party apps and processes don't run in the background, which allows you to safely troubleshoot your device. It's kind of like your device entering into the matrix. Now in order to boot into Android safe mode, single press your Android power button, the shutdown window will pop up, then very carefully long press on the Android power button. If you single tap on that, your device will pretty much shut down. If you do it right, you'll be asked whether you want to boot into Android safe mode. Tap on OK and your device will pretty much restart and reboot into safe mode. On some older Android versions, you will need to completely turn off your device, then turn it on by long pressing the power button and when you see the boot animations, hold down the volume up and down buttons at the same time until you boot into safe mode. While in safe mode, the watermark safe mode will appear at the bottom of your device indicating that you are in the matrix. Yo, will you please stop it? As I mentioned earlier, third party apps that you installed on your device won't run. They will be either grayed out like the one that you see over here or you will find the shortcuts and icons but you won't be able to run them. And you won't find them in the app drawer either. But don't worry, all your apps are safe. Now, what's the use of Android safe mode? There are several. Number 1. If your device is crashing and you're getting a lot of error messages and you can't figure out whether it's a problem with your system or it's a problem with a third party app that you recently installed, you can find that by booting into safe mode. If you are no longer getting the errors that you were getting earlier, then it's an issue with an app that you recently installed on your device. Simply by uninstalling the app from the app section in Android settings, you'll be able to fix the issue. Number 2. If you got a virus, a malware or a malicious app that you cannot uninstall because it's always running in the background, then you can easily uninstall those kinds of apps in the safe mode. Now since the malicious app is no longer running in the background, you will be able to easily get rid of the app. Number 3 and the most useful feature of safe mode is that it saves you from factory resetting your device. Most people when they have a problem with their device and they can't fix it, 99% of the people will go ahead and perform a factory reset which will wipe all the apps and data on their device. Which is not only a time consuming process but you're basically erasing the issue with all the app and data, not fixing it. But by booting into safe mode, you can find out the specific issue and you can either uninstall it or fix it without losing your data. But the coolest thing about safe mode is look how fast my device got. Since third party apps and widgets are no longer running in the background, a lot of RAM is spared. Your device will feel rocket fast and you will be able to find out how much your device had slowed down over the time due to third party apps and widgets. And finally, in order to go back to your current state of Android, simply restart your device and you'll be back to normal. That's it. And that was our very first episode of Tech Quickies. I'm starting a new series on this channel named as Tech Quickies in which I'll be showing you quick tips, tricks and stuff about your smartphone that you didn't know about. So if this video was helpful, interesting and moreover, if you got to learn something new today, then please give this video a thumbs up, that really helped me a lot. And do subscribe if you want to watch more interesting videos like these. I'm your host HK from The Android Guy, signing out. And you guys, have a great day.